Oh, Damon Watlington's third. Team third. Uh, Moorhead knows the Rays were in foul trouble, and uh, they get uh, get their men, and uh, that's a good driver. They're going to take it right to them. See how many they can foul out. Moorhead under 50 percent from the line. Moorhead is the second seed from the Triad 3A in the state playoffs. That's correct. That can't change. But I, but I tell you what, McMichael picked up a second seed tonight. The girls team. That popped uh, Northeast back to third seed. Barefoot, nice passing tonight. There's Watlington. Kelvin Martin rebound, Harrison with the foul. His first. <laughs> Moorhead is in a 2-3 zone, but when the ball is on uh, Harrison's side, ever who is on that side has got to hire some man-to-man. -man. When he comes to the other side, they switch it off, and uh, that side has a man-to-man. -man. They plan a pretty smart defense right now. Okay. That was one of the that, that was one of the battle passes of the tournament. Timeout, Reeseville. Reeseville's second timeout. That evens up the timeouts two each. We keep it right here, 49-41 in favor of Moorhead. Now let's take a look at the Reeseville cheerleaders. Also the tournament pairings. Great game the other night between Reedsville and Northeast, and if you thought that was hard to top, you're wrong, because that Moorhead Northwest game was fantastic. <laughs> if you're watching these, this game on Friday, you can see the whole boys tournament again on Sunday. Good graphic work tonight by Roy Sawyers. He did the Panther and the Ram tonight. Does a good job with that. Looked like Harrison even got a little frustrated last uh, minute or two. Now Reed was pressing. Don't much believe they can hold more head in the print. They may be able to. Nice save by Harrison. Foul by Junior well, Taylor. The ref, uh, the fans behind us made a good call right there because uh, uh, Harrison was on the line down here. And Taylor has a they missed sore it. thumb and he heard it again. He also picked up his third or is that his fourth foul? I think he's got four. Well, he looks like in, he's in pretty much pain right now. He's had that thumb bandaged. Well, he, he could have gotten a, uh, a knee in the uh, in the leg. Looked like they uh, get him in the muscle now, so I believe he'll be okay. He'll come out for Berwyn Thompson. Oh, he got up mighty quick to be. I thought he was, was going to stay down a while. Well, about time I I said I didn't think uh, Reasel uh, could hold more head in the press. Uh, they st they still won. So, but Reasel's in a two-two-one three-quarter quarter trap right now, and uh, we'll see how more head can handle. They they got so much quickness, they should be able to handle this pretty well. Of course, Reasel has quickness too. They should be able to run it pretty well. See, 
Well, they called that. Like a lot of field people may fail out of this ball game before it's over with. That's the third team first or second on Derwin Thompson. Hey, let's go down back here, fellas. Rams are nine of seventeen from the line. That Harrison draws so many people and he has the ball. Everybody thought he was going to shoot. He made a terrific pass underneath that time. Jones a pretty good free throw shooter. Hits that one. 49-44. Thompson reverse layup. Missed another layup. Who's this one on? Galloway? Referee called that from uh, mid-court. It was on Derwin Thompson, too, his third, team fourth. Called that foul from mid-court. He had a man uh, under the basket that didn't make the call. Harrison. Two points. Lead for three. bashful with the whistle but I tell you what I'd rather see it this way in, in, in the games that, that we have seen in the past Sean <laughs> Vestal back in the ball game for Haywood Martin Kelvin Martin with 11. Play ball, follow. This is the second one. Moorhead is Play now ball. 11 for 24 from the line. Play ball. Play ball. Barefoot. Jay can't buy a basket tonight. Pass. There's Kelvin Martin open for three short. Well, that was that was a air ball. That's a charge. Called it on the defense. That's a late whistle right there. I thought he was going to get by with it. They did call the charge. That three on Harrison. Three. Three on Harrison. Just two. Two. Sorry, I was having trouble hearing you. Gotta go to the middle. Go now, go. Best old Johnson walk. Good call. and Watlington have three, Cobb and Gordon have four. Well, Reggie only has three, my fault. Take it down, man! Panthers hit a free throw. Hey, we're Martin back in. Haywood's coach back here behind us telling, telling him what to do. He'll be all right. Oh, 
Ridgeville ball. Two times down the court, uh, Chris uh, Moorhead was in a boxing one. Uh, Vestal had uh, had Harrison man to man. Had a four man zone and man on Harrison. It lasts two times down the court. And then Gordon hits a three pointer. You know, as, as well as uh, players can shoot this day and time, it's hard to just to concentrate on one or two players. They are 13 of 27 from the line. They can go to 50% with this shot for Vesta. That helps Moorhead, 57-51 Moorhead. 120 to go through. Okay, now, now they're back in a 2-3. Harrison's open for three, but Galloway shoots short. Vestal, rebound, but he's fouled. That's four on Wilkerson. This is going to be a long four, fourth quarter uh, coming up, I believe, Chris, because if one team hey, we just sit down and relax, man. You know, gets behind and has to foul, it may not have too many people left. This ah. one. There's a rebound by Taylor, but it's stolen by Galloway. Right back to Moorhead. Derwin Thompson falls in. 59, 51. Move the ball, Hayward. Let's move the ball. A minute left. <laughs> that was from downtown. That was a. That would have been a three-point play in anybody's league. Ten seconds to go in the quarter. minute to go. Derwin Thompson, no. Rebound, Junior Taylor. And they've been having some clock trouble. There is 10 seconds now. They left Harrison open short. Gordon and Thompson, three seconds. Vesto missed everything. That'll do it for the third quarter. Hold on to your hats. Eight minutes left. 61-54. The Moorhead fans on their feet. Welcome back. Both sides of the gym. A little bit excited right now with eight minutes to go. Chris, I've got, uh, I have more here with 13 offensive rebounds and eight points, and Reasonable only five offensive rebounds with two points. So, if Moorhead, if Moorhead wins this ball game, uh, that could be one of the one of the key factors in it. 
Another big factor is free throw shooting. Moorhead's done a terrible job. They could be way ahead had they hit their shots from the line. Johnson for three. Good. Razel was back in the zone that time. That's the first time they played a zone. Galloway. No Barefoot needs a shot. Can't hit it. Motlington. Oh. Monty Diller picks up his third. That was an offensive board for Razel. Reedsville's 10 out of. Did you have a personal coach in the stands when you played, uh, Keith? Of course. Did I say Keith? Where'd I get Keith from? Chris. You've been up too long. Yeah, that's four points off their offense. 64-56. They're in a 1-3-1. 1-3-1 one, chaser. Now they're in a man-to-man. -man. They back man-to-man. -man. Points is kind of changing up the defense right now, it looks like. Both teams have two timeouts left. Seven minutes to go. Moorhead by eight. Johnson wants some help. Guarded by Watlington. Haywood is guarded by Barefoot. Looks inside, nobody's there. Haywood goes inside. Oh, he missed it. Diller, rebound and score. What a night for Monty Dillard. He has 19 points. Inside. Sean Johnson call. That's his second. You got to be surprised how well Morehead is playing after last night. Well, that's true. They uh. I tell you, when they all you got to say, I guess I'm playing reasonable, and they can uh, they can get well off and get uh, fired up in a hurry. They just don't worry about the fatigue factor, I don't guess. Because if you get a proper amount of rest, proper amount of sleep, uh, these young people can go, uh, can go a long time. 14 of 21, 14 of 22 is Hensville. The key to it is getting that rest, proper rest. They can't stay out all hours of night, expect to do it. Bonnie Dillard again scores. Nice move, Damon Watlington. He's got 16, 68-16. Lester for two. Sean Johnson rebound, off balance shot. Watlington rebound. Inside the circle, no. Rebound, Vesto. Five and a half to go.
sure about that call, but the officials call it, not me. Huh? I thought it was a walk. Well, he might have walked before he charged. Okay. But they called a block. Riggs scored four quick points right here. It's been a, a ten-point ball game. Back to six. It's going to be back to four now as soon as Harrison hits these two. We did miss one tonight, though. Back right in a hurry. Watlington knocks it away. Good job by Haywood to shield him away. From well, him. well, Haywood picked up his dribble a little too quick right there. He pick up dribble on that sideline. You're not going to have much help. Somebody's going to have to come help him. changed the momentum of this ball game within the last minute. Boys now a lot more. One and one for Galloway. He's got seven in all. Got eight. Lead in three. They're 17 of 25 now. Three-point ball game. Moorhead hasn't been behind since the game started, I don't think. He just made looked uh, he made a good move on that score. Two shots for Dillard. With 14 of 29 from the line. 14 of 30 from the line. Mr. Bowe. 
timeout, Bullhead. The third. Baylor sits down with nine points. When Bullhead takes a timeout, we'll do the same. 317, we're all tied up. Coaches have one timeout left. Uh, the way I have it, minute 17 seconds to go. Now last night, uh, Moorhead was in a similar position because they were one down and worked for one shot. Uh, I don't know how. That, I don't believe Reasonable will try to run the clock down. I think they may uh, be patient, but go, go on in and try to score. If they've got an open shot, they'll no doubt take it. Well, just like the girls game tonight, it was tied late in the game, and Michael must have killed a minute, minute and a half before they went for the shot, and they were fouled, and they went on and won it. That's correct. What a tournament, huh? They've got the bleachers pulled out here on one end, and they, 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 that's, that's just about full, so both sides would be filled tonight. I guess it looks less full because the uh, band isn't here tonight in Moorhead. They're not allowed to be. I expect we got between uh, 2,000 and 2,500 people in here probably, just guessing. Sean Johnson, half a minute to go. Can they do another miracle shot? Diller, 10 seconds. Yeah, he's fouled. He's fouled by Jerome Galloway with six seconds left. Galloway second. Remember, though, Moorhead's been terrible tonight from the line. Six 
16 for 36. Well, you always... Even if he hits both of them, you always got to worry about the three-point shot. Reasonable with a timeout. Okay, now that's reasonable last, last timeout. Time no timeouts left, either team. Six seconds left. It's tied at 72, and we'll be back to bring you the end of this one. <laughs> Six seconds to go, 72-72. Haywood Martin at the line. Hey! Well, uh, Northwest has Rusty LaRue. Reedsville, though, has Steve Harrison. That's correct. So it's not over. Exactly right. And you better believe that they're going to try to get that ball in Harrison's hand, too. does not have a timeout. That's a big point, but the, that's a big point, but the game's not over with yet. Yeah. 74-72. It's the whistle. Call. I don't know whether we're going to lay, huh? Sub. Okay. That was a smart. Watlington. Harrison. Two seconds. I didn't know I didn't know about that shot to left him miss it was on line it was just long Let's, <laughs> as we watch the mob scene no this is not a riot in a third world nation this is the Moorhead fans oh they going crazy to sit on the floor now Chris they finally beat Reedsville I can't believe they did it after last night I thought Reedsville might blow them out Let's well we out. predicted that before the game started uh, let me tell you a good uh, a coaching strategy right there. Uh, after after Haywood hit that hit the last point, uh, Coach Harder had a substitute waiting to come in, so they give them chance to set up okay. in their defense, and it was tough for for Reasel to get the ball back. That was a very smart uh, move on Harder's part. As bad as Morehead was from the line tonight, how they win this game? Okay, right. Okay, offensive rebounds. One reason they got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen offensive rebounds, and and come out with eight points on them. And Reasonable had three, six, uh, nine offensive rebounds with six points. Let's run down the scoring. For Reedsville, Harrison, another outstanding night. 31 points. Watlington, 18, 9 for Galloway, 9 for Reggie Cobb, and 5 for Kenny Gordon. For Moorhead, Haywood Martin, 10 points, but he hit, finally hit some free throws to win it. Sean Johnson, 9. Junior Taylor, 9. Kelvin Martin, 12. 8 for Vestal. 5 for Thompson. And Coach, the, the player of the game has to be Monty Dillon. Well, right. Exactly right. Uh, I think Moorhead played a, played a good, uh, uh, well-rounded game, but, uh, but Marty Diddle had an outstanding game. I'll tell you what, the sectional playoffs ought to be something else. Oh, tell Before me, yeah. Moorhead, they could meet again. What a game that would be. Well, that's, that's, isn't that uh, the truth? This is... We're this has been some kind of tournament with, with some outstanding games. Wrap it up. McMichael wins the girls' tournament. Moorhead wins the boys' tournament. We thank you, Coach W.A. Wall, for being with us seven games in four days. And we also thank the whole crew for all of their work. Moorhead again wins the conference tournament 74-72 for W.A. and the crew once again. I'm Chris. Collector paid him 23.